Yeah, we can open our, up our shutters. Let's go. My bed's fine. My room's fine. Don't judge it. This is my shelf. This is my all-time favorite place to go. When I was scared because there was the hurricane, I came up here, and this is where I felt safe. It's because I knew if it flooded, that it couldn't wreck anything here and everything. So I knew that I could trust this area right here. Crap, this is, this is new. It's very frightening and disturbing. You see this giant tree down in one of my best friend's yard. I've lived with the hurricanes my whole entire life. And even though it's reality, it's really scary. All of our traditions and everything is based here. And a lot of our origin stories are from here. We can't just leave because just too sacred for us. It's all been a matter of choices. And our feelings of despair and dread and anxiety is all because of choices that we had no participation in. Everything could have changed, like really before I was born. I was born in 71. I think 1971 will be known as the year of action for the future generations of America. The history of this whole period has got to be the saddest story ever told. This huge failure to rise to the moment. I think it's uh, the greatest uh, dereliction of, of civic responsibility in the history of the Republic. When I look back over that period of time, I think in some sense I've failed to do really to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. I'm very gratified that um, somebody can make, <clears throat> can make use of my documents. <laughs> This is why we need trial, because this story has to come out. And government can come in and make their case if they want, but a judge needs to hear from both sides. Because if it's as bad as we think it is and all the evidence we have indicates, it's the biggest crime against humanity ever, and it's a constitutional violation by any standard. Yeah.